director of River's Edge Arts. And we're out here at the corner of 2nd Avenue and Mason, which is sort of the heart of the Fairmount District, which is where the 2nd Avenue School is, and that's River's Edge Arts' home. This is one of the murals that we've done outside. So when we use the term public art, sometimes people get confused. They say, well, what does that really mean? We have a public art studio. What do you teach? We teach painting, large-scale installation, and site-specific art. Also, 3D fabrication. If you look at the end, you can see a painted medallion that talks about the Fairmount, and it mentions the village. So it talks about, basically, it's referencing the history of Woonsocket. Foundries were actually the backbone of our community because they, like mills, grew up along water. which is in one socket at the top of Mason Street. So why this is such a really cool project that River's Edge has done is because it really speaks to the collaborative nature of our work. This is a public art installation. As you can see, you've got figures that are multicolored. Those figures are obviously representing individuals who are following Dr. King. But what's really cool about this is we at, the, at River's Edge Arts would not be able to fabricate all of this by ourselves. These are pieces of steel that are powder coated and that they are built to withstand the weather. So how do we do it? We design it with our youth and then we partner with other organizations. In this case, the partnership was with NeighborWorks, which is a great organization uh, here in Woonsocket. And then we also partnered with the Steel Yard. They work on the steel and we do the designs. 